friends and welcome once again to another episode of Tony's Comfort Kitchen. Now then, today I am going to whisk us away to a sun-kissed Greek island. I think I've actually, I think I've actually said that already in one of my videos, one of my previous videos, but anyway, what the hell. We're going to Greece, we are cooking a classic Greek dish, which is not only very tasty, but uh, very simple to do too. Uh, the main ingredients are just chicken, potatoes and lemon. How Greek is that? So, if you want to uh, cook along with me, then uh, let's get on and do it. Right, I'm going to start off with the chicken. I have here uh, four chicken thighs, uh, bone in, skin on. And to that, I'm going to add a good pinch of salt, plenty of black pepper, a heaped teaspoon of fresh uh, rosemary, you can use dried if you want. I didn't have any. A heat teaspoon of dried oregano. Lots of garlic, chopped up. There are actually six cloves here because, you know, the, the Greeks like a bit of chicken with their garlic. Ha, ha, ha. The rind of half a lemon. Half a teaspoon of cumin. Ground cumin. The juice of one lemon. And finally, a good glug of olive oil. Okay, so it's just a case of mixing this all up into basically a marinade. Now then, ideally, you would uh, put this, or cover this, put it in the fridge for a minimum of about two hours, I would say. You don't need to do it overnight. However, for the sake of this video, I won't do that because I just I don't have the time. So, I will just put this to one side for a second and then we'll get on with the rest of the dish. Oh, I can smell that already. Oh, by the way, I uh, have one or two other Greek dishes on my channel. And if you want to see those, I will put a link to them both at the end of this video. So, if you want to go and check those out, please watch this first then hop over and uh, check those out too. Okay, so into a roasting tin, I'm gonna put the chicken, first of all, skin side up. Then, some potatoes. Now these are um, uh, floury potatoes that I've just cut up into quarters. And load those round the chicken. I should have got a bigger roasting tin. <laughs> now I'm not throwing this marinade away. We're going to put it, drizzle it over Oops. the chicken and the potatoes. That's all goodness. And then into that I'm going to add 250 millilitres of chicken stock. And that my friends is it. It will now go in to uh, an oven uh, which I've set to 220 degrees Celsius and I believe that is 425 Fahrenheit. So we're going to put it in the oven for about uh, 40 to 45 minutes and then after about 20 minutes I'll take it out. I'm just going to give everything a toss uh, so it's all coated and uh, I'll let you know how it's getting on. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and I've got them out of the oven. Now, what I'm going to do is just turn them over, turn them back over again. I'm just basting them, basically. This is just the easiest way to do it. Turn it over, over again. Turn it over, over again. And we'll do the same with the potatoes too. And then it's back in to the oven for a further 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, it has been 45 minutes now and that chicken uh, should be uh, nicely, nicely cooked. I'll just give a little baste. Now what I'm going to do is put the chicken to one side, which I'll just do. Uh, 
out and I will get a serving plate. Now look at this for a serving plate. It's an antique serving plate. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I will put the chicken on the serving plate. I'll put it to one side because I'm going to finish off the potatoes. I mean, you could eat the potatoes. I think they're probably well cooked now. But I'm going to stick them under the grill or the uh, broiler, as the uh, Americans say, just to finish them off so they're nice and crisp and tasty. Okay, that is the potatoes out of the, uh, the grill. Uh, and they're looking absolutely delicious. Now then, I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to put them to one side. Get that lovely serving dish. Put the potatoes in. And there we have it. Again, I'll put this to one side. And we're going to reduce down the sauce a little bit. Right, I'm just going to reduce this uh, liquid down just to concentrate the flavours and then of course we're going to pour it over. It won't be thick like a gravy but it'll be packed full of flavour. And that my friends is the dish done. Time to just pour this over and of course give it the obligatory taste. Right, my friends, I'm going to dig in. I, uh, I've just cut the little bits off to put on a small plate. Mm. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, lemon, rosemary. Oh, man. That is really, really nice. The potato. Mm. Mm. Even the potatoes are very lemony. Oh, that is lovely. Mm. So simple, so few ingredients, and yet so tasty. Fantastic. Please, please, please give this a go. Like I say, I've got some other Greek uh, videos on my channel, and I'll put them above here. Uh, go check them out. But give this a go. Um, honestly, Greek cooking, the Greeks know what they're on about. <laughs> it's simple, it's fresh, it is just fantastic so please give it a go let me know in the comments below how you get on uh, please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace my friends peace